Welcome to the 27 inch iMac A1419 Take Apart Guide. You can remove the RAM on this model very easily by pressing the RAM door release button on the back near the power cable port. Once pressed, the RAM door will pop open. You can then press the RAM release buttons and flip the RAM up and remove them. To remove the display, you will need a suction cup and a guitar pick to slide under the edge of the glass to cut the adhesive. Do this carefully around the entire edge of the display. Once the adhesive has been cut all the way around, you can then open the display from the top to reveal two cables that will need to be unplugged to remove the display. Once the two cables have been unplugged, you can then remove the display. Looking on the back of the LCD, you can remove the display cable. To remove the hard drive, you will need to first loosen the left speaker assembly by taking out the two T8 screws. Unplug the power button cable and then be careful when pulling the speaker assembly out that the power button cable does not get cut. Now remove the two T8 screws from the left hard drive mount. Take the left mount out and then slide the hard drive out of the right mount. Then unplug the SATA cable from the hard drive to remove it. Now remove the right speaker assembly by taking out the two T8 screws. Unplug the speaker cable and then slide the speaker out. Remove the cable from the top of the power supply. Then take the four T8 screws out of the power supply.
Now slide the power supply up so that you can unplug the two cables from the back of the power supply. Next, remove the three T8 screws from the fan assembly. Unplug the fan and then remove it. Next, unplug the iSight cable from the logic board. And then unplug the cable from the camera and the microphone. Now the cable can be removed. Remove the two T5 screws from the camera assembly and then take the camera board out. Then using a flat tool, carefully take out the microphone cable from the back case. Unplug the audio cable from the logic board. And then unplug the left speaker assembly from the logic board and remove it. Unplug the wireless antennas from the logic board. Remove the T8 screws from the surface of the logic board. Now remove the T8 screw that is in the hole of the logic board located here. Now using a T20 screwdriver, remove the screw post. And then remove the T8 screws from the top of the heatsink assembly. Then lift the logic board out and flip it over to unplug the SATA cable and the power cable from the back side. You can now slide the SATA cable out of the back case. Remove the T5 screws from each of the wireless antennas and then take them out.
You can now remove the T5 screw from the ram door opener. Use a flat tool to take out the audio board. It is being held down with strong adhesive. Remove the 9 T8 screws that is mounting the pedestal. and then remove the pedestal. And then remove the six T8 screws that is holding down the pedestal hinge. Once the six screws have been taken out, the pedestal hinge can be removed. 